Did you know that having type 1 or type 2 diabetes can affect your vision? Diabetic retinopathy or DR occurs when high blood sugar levels cause damage to blood vessels in the retina. And the longer you have diabetes and the less controlled your blood sugar is, the more likely you are to be at risk, Drew. But you know, one of the issues in the early stages of diabetic retinopathy, there may not be any symptoms. You know, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Something's going on and you're not even aware of it. But as the condition progresses, a person may experience spots or dark strings floating in their vision, blurred or fluctuating vision, impaired color, dark or empty areas in vision, difficulty driving at night, or vision loss. And both eyes can be affected. DR is the leading cause of blindness among working age Americans. Dr. Holly Phillips visited retina specialist Dr. Alan Ho for information on screening for DR. I'm here today with Dr. Alan Ho. Talk to us about the importance of diabetic eye screen. Sure, I'm here on behalf of retina specialists and eye care providers across the country in Regeneron Pharmaceuticals to raise awareness about diabetic retinopathy, unfortunately, the number one cause of blindness in working age Americans. But there is good news. Thankfully, early detection, careful monitoring, and available treatments may reduce severity and prevent vision loss in many cases. So what does an eye look like when it has diabetic retinopathy, which we also call DR? Let's first look at a healthy eye. This is a picture of the retina and you see no evidence of bleeding or leakage. If you look at a patient with diabetic retinopathy, you can see here circled multiple areas of bleeding or retinal hemorrhages. And it's this bleeding and leakage that can lead to vision loss or even more severe complications of diabetic retinopathy. So if screening indicates that you do have DR, what are the next steps? If you do have DR, then you should speak to your eye care professional about what to do, when to be seen again, and whether or not treatments might be appropriate for you at that time. But even if screening shows a healthy retina, people who have diabetes should still schedule regular visits with their eye care professional to discuss how to protect against DR and the related conditions. Isn't that right? Absolutely. So how can people learn more about how to get screened? Your eye care professional can screen for diabetic retinopathy. Regeneron is also planning free diabetic eye screens at local community, health, cultural, and sporting events around the country. Go to the Look to Your Future Facebook page to find out if there's a screening event near you. And if there's not a program there now, check back because more are being added around the country all the time. Thanks so much for being here and all the great information and resources, Dr. Ho. And doctors, back to you in the studio. A big thanks to Dr. Holly and Dr. Ho. Eye care is such an important part of a comprehensive approach to managing your diabetes. You know, and with every system in the body, there are keys that you can do to improve your overall health, and your eye health is no exception. So eating healthy, exercising regularly, and working with your healthcare team are all important. This can help lower your risk of vision loss or blindness from diabetic retinopathy. So be sure to see your eye care professional for regular screenings and stick around, we have more to come.